Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today, I thought it would be kind of nice to do like a get unready with me. Was that a thing? Get unready with me, like a nighttime routine. Because I just started a whole new skincare ritual. Routine? I don't know. Ritual sounds... Spooky. I don't know. But I thought that I would do that for today's video because I'm loving everything that I started using and it's done amazing things for my skin. So I wanted to show you guys. First things first, I need to get this makeup off and wash my face. First, let me tell you guys what I do to take off my makeup. I used to be a very avid makeup remover wipe user. That's what I used for years. I've used so many different ones. My favorite makeup wipe is probably the MAC one. And after that, I started using micellar water with just a cotton pad, like the disposable ones. <clears throat> Chelsea, who does like my brows and my facials and stuff. We were talking about skincare and she told me that she uses a makeup removing cloth. They're from Amazon. They came in a pack of five, I think. And you literally just get it wet and wipe off your makeup. This is good for me because I don't wear a ton of makeup. This is as full face as it gets for me. I am wearing primer, foundation, concealer, contour stick, bronzer, blush, powder, highlighter, mascara, and clear brow gel. I don't do eyeshadow. I have many eyeshadow palettes. I don't know how to do eyeshadow. I can't do it. It never works. So since I don't use like liners or shadows, I can get away with just doing this and then following up with a cleanser. If you're someone that does like a full eye look, then I would recommend doing like an eye makeup remover with a cotton pad which brings me to my next item that she recommended i get and that is reusable cotton pads and they just look like this you just throw them in the wash i got these on amazon i will try to link both of these below and they come with this bag that you just throw in the wash when you need to wash them i think there's like 25 or 30. i use these for toner i have used them because i do have an eye makeup remover i don't really use it because i don't like to rub my eyes that much but if I have like a full eye look or if it's like after a shoot or something and I really need to get it off, that's what I use with these. But typically I just use these with my toner. First things first, hair needs to come up. skin and when I use my Clarisonic I think sometimes it's like a lot. That being said I do have an exfoliator. I only use it once a week because when I use my Clarisonic I feel like that's enough if that makes sense. I do feel like my skin is on the drier side these days. It used to be combination but I definitely think it's drier at this point. So I took my makeup off. I washed my face with my Clarisonic and I used the Squalene Cleanser from The Ordinary. I've been using that for a few weeks and I really like it. So all of the products that I'm using tonight are new, except for my toner and my Clarisonic, but everything else is new. I wish I had like a before picture of what my skin was like. I've been very lucky. I've never had bad skin, knock on wood, but something about these new products, like it just feels so much better. Like I, for a long time, was having like a lot of bumpiness. I don't know if it was like clogged pores or what, but my nose just felt disgusting. So now after cleansing, I'm gonna go in with my toner. I was gonna get a new toner from The Ordinary because that's literally what all the other products are, but they were out. So I am sticking with Thayer's Witch Hazel. I started using this this year and originally I had the unscented one just because I felt like you don't need extra scents, but my mom got me this rose petal one for my birthday and it smells so good. It smells like baby dolls and just like the normal baby dolls you get at like Target or wherever. It smells like them. Like the crazy baby powder smell. It was all about baby dolls for a very long time. So this like brings me way back. I always like to bring my skincare down my neck and typically down like in this area too, but 
this is YouTube and we don't need to see all that on the internet, so. The next thing that I'm gonna do is something that I haven't been doing for very long, and that is gua sha. Let me know in the comments if you've ever heard of it or if you've ever done it and what you think about it. Let me read you what it is. I'm literally gonna read it off of here because my brain doesn't work. It's a traditional Eastern Asian practice that translates in English to scraping the pain away. It's been adapted from a full body vigorously detoxifying treatment to a beautifying relaxing ritual for the face, neck, and decollete. So it's used, so you use healing crystal stones. Let me show you what mine looks like. Looks like that. They have pink quartz, they have jade, they have different kinds. It helps with tension, it helps detoxify your skin, which is really nice. It helps your skin to glow and it even acts as a natural facelift, which obviously is something that I won't see the effects of until I'm older, which is kind of true for most skincare, like anti-aging skincare, you won't really know if it worked until you're older. So this is something that I saw another YouTuber do and I will link her down below because she goes more in depth and shows like really how to do it. But I have been doing it and I love it and I feel, it's probably just in my head, but I do feel like I see a difference. I really felt good about it. It just feels like it brings my face up and yeah, I love it. So the first thing I use after my toner before I get into gua sha is this caffeine solution. It's for your under eyes and I just do that. I also bring it up my eye. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that, but I do it. And I really do feel like I see a difference with this. I feel like I've had a lot of puffiness like down here and that it's always been like that. But yeah, I feel like I see a difference for sure. With gua sha, you want to use some kind of face oil so that this will slide and you're not like pulling your skin, especially when you get up to this area. Under your eyes is super, super delicate, which is one of the reasons that when you put eye cream or like this caffeine solution, whatever you're doing for your eyes, anytime you're dealing with your like under eye skin, use your ring fingers because they're the most gentle finger apparently. So after the caffeine solution, I use this oil. It is the 100% organic cold pressed rosehip seed oil. This is not sponsored by them. Obviously, look at my subscribers. I have like zero. I just truly love these products. Just kind of press it into your skin. The reason I have so much is because I bring it down my neck and all the way around. From here, so the detox part of gua sha is when you take this and you do it on your neck and you go down. So this is gonna drain your lymph nodes. And you wanna go over each spot about eight to 10 times. You will see me start to get red. It's not because I'm pushing too hard because you do need to use a bit of pressure. I am also just very pale, so I get red very easily. You wanna go right up under your jawline and that'll help with any drainage that you might need to pull down because we all have this kind of like a double chin, right? Which there's nothing wrong with that, but it may have to do with drainage that you might have. I hope I'm explaining this right. I am not, not an expert by any means. So check out the gal that I was telling you about that I found her video. Her name is Valeria and she has been doing this a lot longer than I have. And there's different angles on here. I don't know if you can see. I like to take this one and put it on my chin and go up my jawline and then on this side i like to put it underneath my cheekbone so just kind of find where your cheekbone is where you would contour and go up from here i like to go in between my eyebrows and just go up this will help with any fine lines you might get from smiling or anything like that again there's nothing wrong with wrinkles or fine lines it's just something that i do and as you can see, I'm getting red. It's okay, it doesn't last very long. So if you're a little red, I feel like that's okay because it helps with blood flow and circulation. Next, I go in with a hyaluronic acid. So hyaluronic acid, if you are not familiar with it, is something that our skin actually naturally produces. And using it in conjunction with your other skincare, is that the right word? I don't know using it with your other skincare will help boost moisture. I just wanna make sure that I'm telling you things that are true. So, hyaluronic acid. This is actually the first time that I've ever used it. I think I noticed a difference. Like I said, my skin's been incredible the past few weeks, so this could be what's doing it, who knows? But to let you guys know what hyaluronic acid is, I will tell you. It helps with dry skin, it reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, and it speeds up wound healing. The last step in my skincare routine, second to last, is moisturizer. It is the Natural Moisturizing Factors 
plus ha so this is the moisturizer that i use and it's a little thicker than what i would normally use but that's okay like i said my skin's been a little bit on the dry side lately sorry i'm not really looking at you i'm like the mirror is over there and then i'm looking in the viewfinder i know that's annoying sorry oh the moisturizer should be the last thing that you put on your skin that should be like the veil on top of everything but the last step in my get unready with me is my lips I've been using this lip mask from Tatcha. It's my first Tatcha product. It's so exciting. It's the Tatcha Kiss You Lip Mask, I think it is. And I just go in with the little spatula that they give you. And that does it for my skincare routine. Well, let me know down in the comments if yours is similar to mine or what your favorite part of skincare is. I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting ready for bed, brush my teeth, grab some water, and go to sleep because I'm tired. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment letting me know what your favorite skincare product is. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.